Hello everybody, welcome to The Inner Sea. The Inner Sea is a sandbox-like game with RPG elements set in the 17th century and mysterious archipelago. You'll build up your fleet from a single ship, hire crew, engage in naval battles, embark on missions, and trade your heart's content away. This game is going to be coming out on Steam Early Access on March 30th and is being developed and published by D-Square. They were kind enough to send me a little version to check, uh, to take a look at before release. I'm really excited to show you this game, guys. I've been following it probably since last summer. And I just think it's a really cool, unique idea. Kind of set in... The whole game is basically set into the, the map. And it has really awesome, simple-looking graphics. Well, like, it's still beautiful. I wouldn't call them simple, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Artistic style. That's right. Okay. So here we go, starting a brand new game, a new expedition. Months have passed since your last expedition. After such a large period of idleness, the crew is anxious and fidgety, longing to be underway and once more brave the vastness of the open seas. The weather is changing and the winds are becoming more favorable. The time has come for you to outfit your fleet and prepare to set sail once again. Where do you hail from? So there are uh, different starting options that will definitely help with the replayability of the game. So we have the old continent, the uh, Cathay and Arabia, they have different starting ships. I think we're going to start with... Hmm. That one is pretty cool looking. Probably just start with the old continent. Actually, no, this one looks cool. Imperial lands of Cathay bathed by the four seas, but junk has been used millennia. That's a way cooler looking ship. Okay, we're going to hail from Cathay. How do you want to outfit your ship? So we have balance, mostly cargo, mostly crew. Uh, so you can see the different numbers up here for the different stats of the starting ships. You have guns, speed, hull durability, sail durability, crew and crew capacity, cargo and cargo capacity, gold, and their special skill. Uh, we're going to start off balanced, just so we have a little bit of an idea what we're doing. I played for a little bit, got a feel for the controls, but then I thought I'd jump right in with you guys and kind of learn things as we go. Who is your sponsor? So we have the king, which gives us a skill diplomacy. We have the merchant's guild, which gives us a skill trading. Or military order, which gives us a skill of brawling. Hmm. I think we're gonna go with the king. As envoy of your king, you're used to achieving your goals, and those of the king using diplomatic skills. Yeah, we'll definitely check on these other ones. We'll just go with the standard for now. Let's see what color looks best on here. Kind of like in the green. I think that's nice and unique. And for our emblem, oh, I thought that was like a bowl of ice cream or something. Oh, these are cool. So each faction actually has different emblems because they were different. On the ones I was uh, playtesting earlier with. Turtle. Hmm. Kind of like the dragon. We'll go with that. Uh, name or flagship. Um. No, I can't do Bodie McBoatface. Dang it. <laughs> Bodie. Let's <laughs> just go with uh, Bodie. <laughs> there we go. There's name or flagship. It doesn't last long anyway. You'll see. Don't worry. Surprised I didn't name it Cormac? Well, I did in the playtest. After the storm, you were sailing through uncharted waters when suddenly you were caught in a violent squall the like of which your crew had never seen before. After days of facing warring winds, incessant rains, and monstrous waves. <laughs> okay, I won't be able to do the pirate voice all then. The sea finally quiets down and you realize you're in the eye of the storm. Strangely enough, the waters here seemed untouched by the raging gale they can see over the horizon. So here we are in the map. I'm the map, I'm the map. Oh cool, I'm actually starting in a different place. I believe the maps are randomly generated every time. So, it's supposed to be a little different. Okay, WSD, arrow keys, zoom in and out. Yeah, that's, it's kind of abrupt. I kind of want to turn down the zoom sensitivity. Let's see if that's an option. Don't currently have options, okay. Uh, this game will be releasing in early access, so there are going to be bugs, missing features, uh, all, all the things like that, as you would usually expect from an early access game, but it seems to be running relatively solid for now. There we go. Come on, Bodhi. Come on, Bodhi. Okay. Uh, da, 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 you, uh, yeah, so here you have the speeds. You have pause, play, fast forward. Easy peasy. Okay, press the left mouse button, your flagship, drag shift's path. Yep, so that's how you move in this game. Huh. I think there actually is already a bug. The map doesn't look right. It's not loading the water. Uh, let me try restarting. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I loaded up a new one and started moving around and stuff, and it finally loaded in the water, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Pressing the right mouse button will have a resource to bring up a context menu. Yep. And earlier it did show me uh, the fleet manager. Or you press F and it brings this up, so you have the fleet manager. Uh, you have our boat, Bodhi, the junk. <laughs> I guess that's the type of boat. And the current crew and cargo, so we have 20 souls aboard and 50 tons of cargo. Our various skills. 
uh, that we'll be trading up. So it does have RPG elements. So it's uh, the ranks, the point systems, uh, all these sorts of things. Uh, mission log blueprints for things uh, we eventually unlock and craft and are able to add to the ship. And various fractions around the inner sea. Okay, pressing the right mouse button over ship will bring up context menu. Okay, yep, so we've got a little bitty ship right here. Who's this little guy? So you right click on him, and we can choose either to follow or attack. Uh, we're actually going to attack him right now. So it's going to slow down, and if I press shift, actually I guess I haven't been there yet. There we go. Now it locks me into combat phase. While in combat, you can press shift keys to display your ship's gun range. Try to maneuver your sh flagship so the enemies are within its broadsides range. If the guns are fully loaded, your crew automatically fire. If opponents prove too strong, you can always retreat. I try to move away from all adversaries. The only ship you control is your flagship. Any other ship in your fleet will take care of itself. Yeah, because later you can add other ships to your fleet. All that good stuff. While in combat, the ship's combat hold well, will be displayed. The red bar represents the ship's hull, and the blue bar, the ship's sails, and the number to the right, the current active crew. Okay. So, sails, hull, crew. So, yeah, hull is reduced to zero, ship will be destroyed. Uh, sails reduced to zero will become immovable. In, uh, in, in, will become vulnerable. <laughs> immovable, whatever. Alright, so we gotta try and come up just right beside him. So, we're gonna go ahead and move. Let's actually try and turn him real quick. And once he's within the range, they should open fire. And there they go. Okay, we gotta keep turning. Okay, let's come up here. Cut him off. Ah, oh, no. Turn. Oh, he took out two of our crew. Oh no, he took out another one of our crew. Okay, he's a small ship, so I feel like we should have better range than him. Oh man, this guy's kicking my ass. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay, there we go. Now we're alongside him. Come on. Okay, nope, turn more, turn more, turn more. You fool! Ah. Okay, get some more shots off, fire again. I feel like I should just do longer paths, so we stay within range. There we go, okay, plus 100 XP, three fish, awesome. Yeah, there are fish over here, so we can click on that, and they'll actually start to fish. So that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, we can speed up time just to get it done a little faster. You just, just bounce it around. Go. Boink, two fish. And I'm pretty sure you can just do it, like, forever. I don't think it actually ever stops you. And what is that right there? Is there something right there? Oh no, that's just the water. Okay. Good old booty. I thought it said booty at some point. Like there was some booty somewhere we could find. But there we go. We won our first battle. That's um, not what happened last time. But I suppose the first time I played this, the other boat was a lot bigger than that one. So maybe we, we kind of lucked out on our first battle right there. But there we go. Uh, if we open this up now, you'll actually see uh, Mission Log Fleet Manager. Oh yeah, right there. We have our total cargo, 62 out of 100 tons. Cool, and then we can use that cargo to trade, to buy things. Ooh, here's another little guy. Glowy. Hmm. It doesn't tell me what faction they're with, does it? So we have Norman, Quinn, and Caliphate. So player standing suspicious, so everybody's suspicious of us. Interesting. Alright, well we'll try and make some friends, I suppose. Nope, continue. Yeah, to get out of the menu, you have to hit X. I, I hope... I want them to add it so you can just hit F again to close it. That'd be super helpful. But we're just gonna head on out and look for a port or a town or any sort of island in this mysterious ar archipelago. Here we go. Oh no, that's nothing. Okay, actually over here we can head on over to these little walruses. And we can I click on them and fish for walruses, which is basically just the <laughs> uh, getting ivory. So we're just cutting off their tusks. So we can just mine this for a little bit. I'm not. I don't really like this system. Um, how it's just you can you can do it seemingly infinitely. I kind of wish they had a, a finite supply and like popped up at the place, especially the fishing ones, because it'd be nicer if you could actually discover them randomly rather than finding them and visiting them whenever you need uh, to like, pick up some more cargo. I don't know. Again, all this stuff is subject to change because this is early access. This is pre-early access because it's not even available to the general public. Just people who think they're special like me who aren't actually that special. So there we have one little plot of land there. Nothing much going on there. Okay, we got another one. I don't think you can land on these or anything. Nope, they're just islands. Maybe you can do something with them later. They're pretty cool looking. I really like the art style of this game. Very pretty. Okay, we got another boat here. Another fishing spot. And a compass. 
Well, I guess that's useful. <laughs> okay, another place to get some ivory. Good, good, good. I really want to find one of the islands because our main skill is diplomacy right now. Like, we could do some trading stuff. Hey, there's a, there's a guy. Let's see, do they... Other ships tell you what faction they belong to? Here we go. Jinig. Jinig? Let's go that way. Don't want to go up on the land, though. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm constantly having to redraw my path just because I never seem to go the way I want. There we go. Pretty cool looking town. Jinig. Jin... I don't know. I'm, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation or the presumed pronunciation. Whatever that may be. These clouds keep freaking me out. They look really cool, though. Like, I mean, the whole map looks pretty sweet. Alright. Uh, pressing the right mouse button over city will bring up the context menu. Choose anchor icon to dock. Once dock, we'll be able to interact with the city. So he'll head on over and dock right there. The Quinn capital of Jinning is brimming with wealth. So here's the governor. Oh, they're actually different. Last time they were the same. They're definitely related, though. That's like... So the <laughs> that's the governor and his dad runs a tavern, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so Governor, hmm, I've heard rumors of you. Not a single one of them good. Why well, you have any pending tasks or who could unburden enough you off? You come at a most convenient time. I would like you to deliver this parcel together with this letter to the Governor of Kaseb. We shall do as you ask. There we go, we got our first little mission. Uh, we can head over to the tavern and ask him if he's heard any rumors. The large junk Linzin was headed to Hornswoggle to wage war on the pirates. I see. Alright, so that gives us a little bit of information about so, what are the other factions doing, and uh, what, how I could benefit from them? We have the traitor. So, we have everything currently in hold. Oh, wait, no, we're going the wrong way. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so we can sell the wood, the grain. I don't want to sell all my stuff. I guess we'll sell the fish. Actually, we'll take some of that back. Cause wood, because the, 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 the stuff we've been... Like, uh, mining would be best to sell. Or not mining. I, I'm gonna want to keep saying mining, but you know what I mean. We'll sell the stuff that we can actually replenish. Because right now, I don't know how to replenish the other things. So there we go, we just made a crap ton of money. Oh, we have a ship right. Let's see, repair. Okay, we'll go ahead and get it all repaired. Upgrade our current guns. Okay, we'll actually upgrade all those. Guns can installed. Okay, yeah, so those are just the standard things. We have a round shot, standard hull, and cotton sails. And we'll go ahead and leave. Uh, what was our mission? Oops, what is this? Oh, that's, that's interesting. So when I do tab, it brings up this weird camera mode. Okay. Interesting, okay. Ah, uh, mission log, deliver package to Kasab. And where exactly is that? Let's zoom out, and it's over there. Okay. It does limit you, so this is the... L the longest I can actually make my path. Oh, look out! <laughs> it's bumped. It's like, dun, 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 dun. oh, sorry. Go on my way. Just kind of bumped him in the face. It'd be cool if eventually we could form our, we could uh, create like our own pirate city, just like on one of these empty islands. That'd be sweet. And then build up buildings. Oh, that'd be cool. Kind of give it some base building elements. That would be super rad. Come on, Bodie. Come on, Bodie. Hmm. I'm, I'm really enjoying the music in this game, too. It seems to be just this one track over and over. Oh, no, I guess there was different music. Um, oh, there's another little town. Okay. There was actually different music uh, during the combat phases, I believe, so. <laughs> there was some skeleton. What can we do here? Oh, I don't think we can do anything. Let me just bounce into it. That's a big whale creature-looking thing. Interesting. There are sea monsters in this game. I know that. I saw it in the trailers and everything, so... You gotta keep an eye out for them. Here be monsters. There we go. It's always on the furthest edge. Ridiculous. Okay, we'll just have him dock with it. He should just form his own path. So you imagine how slow it would take if we're just doing like that speed. Okay. Ooh, found an adrift ship. Okay, so we can. Uh, every time we capture a ship. Okay. Cool, so we'll go ahead and. Um, board this ship, so it is adrift, so it's not capable of moving. Okay, come on, let's speed that up a little bit. Where are you going, buddy? Hey, hey, come here. <laughs> okay. Uh, you've captured the dragnet. Okay, we can take all of the cargo. 
which they currently didn't have any. Okay, so we can keep her or sink her. It's not giving me the option right now, but I guess I just sank her, so... Oh, that was only option, because we currently can't keep her, because we're not allowed to command that many ships. Excuse me, Mr. Boats. Coming through. There you go. Okay, we'll go ahead and dock here. And we'll go to the governor. About to delivery package to Casalba. Ah, the package I've been expecting. Here you go, very timely delivery. Understood about our previous topic. Uh, any tasks? You come to me at a most convenient time. I would like you to deliver this parcel together with this letter to the governor of Jean. Isn't that where I just left? What? <laughs> She'll do as you ask, I guess. <laughs> okay, ask this guy if he's heard any rumors. Nothing much has happened. See anything here that we want? Ooh, it costs 300 to upgrade these. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is a little better. Our, a couple of our ships disappeared under mysterious circumstances. That's spelled wrong. Circumstances. Okay. I'll report that to the developers. I always suspect pirates may be involved. Would you be available for hire to escort one of our ships to destination? Alright, let's do that. Okay, so uh, we're following this guy, right? Aisha. Come on, Bodhi. Keep up. Well, that guy is... Oh, man. <laughs> They've got a drunk captain at the helm. Jeez. Oh, crap. Don't want to lose it. No, 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 no. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, what the heck? Where'd he go? See, I, I wish there was a little better, f like, a fog of war thing, because I don't know when they're going to go out of my range. Crap, where do they go? Uh, well, that's a little annoying. Well. Um. About that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it already removed it from my mission log. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just head back over here. And deliver this to the governor. Dang it, that's exactly what happened last time. They just moved so fast. Maybe I should have, like, slowed it down or something, but... Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, it'd be nice if there was, like, a, like a halfway transparent fog of war so you could see what is actually within your range and what is not. That would be slightly more convenient, in my opinion. See, all these other ships, we could attack them if we really wanted to, but honestly, they, they, they look a little tougher than us because you can't really see what sort of crew or weapons they currently have until it's a little too late, until you're already attacked. But then I guess you could run away. If you follow them, does it actually let you? I don't know. Okay, let's bring him over here. And I guess we're just running back and forth through these two cities. Hey, right, Governor. Package. Okay, city has been a target of countless attacks by the notorious pirate ship Glow. Oh, I saw that guy earlier. Okay, we've had enough. If you're able to take care of them, we'll reward you handsomely. Awesome. Uh, they left from Routout. I believe they're on their way to city of Talafer. Close to the city of Kribif. Okay. So we need to go hunt for Glow? I think his name was... Yeah, Glow. That's just what I'm going to call it. Probably pronouncing that incorrectly as well. We're gonna go hunt this fool down. Wherever he may be. Let's see. Okay. Oh, is, he, is that him over there? I don't, maybe that's showing like the approximate area, or maybe that's the city where he might be. So we'll check that out. Another skeleton. Spooky, scary. Spooky, scary skeletons. I want something halfway in between this and this. Like, I like these two views, but I want something in between them. Nope. See, that's not him, is it? No. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's, he's moving. Alright, you little stinker. Come here. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Ah, oh, stupid walruses are on the way. Don't hit them. Okay, and we'll pause. And we'll open up on him. She's turned. Turn that way. Come on. Oh, they have a crew of 48. Are you kidding me? This is not going to go well. Okay, stay behind him. Stay behind him. Six. Oh, man. We're going to get our butts kicked. Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> go. Run away. <laughs> Dang it. Ah! Okay. When all your ship is sunk, you have a crew will board a lifeboat. Friendly governor might help you out your time of need. And your lifeboats can't be attacked. <laughs> Dang it. 
Well, that did not go well. Alright, well, we'll head over to the city and hopefully one of these governors will take mercy on us, guys. But leave a like if you did enjoy this debut episode of Inner Sea and would like to see more in the future. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.